Hi, welcome to Ten Life Five Not on G Shock Me Video Channel. In this video, I will tell you the ten things that I like and five things that I wish it has on the Casio G Shock GDX 6900MC, the oversized classic 6900 in the camo pattern. Here are the 10 things that I like about the GDX6900. 1. It is a big wash. Its case of 57mm is almost 10% bigger than the classic DW6900. It is as big as the King GX56. The design has the camo pattern printed on the bezel and bands. The big case has the shock absorbing superstructure with alpha gel to protect the model. The alpha gel is the soft silicone gel material made by Tycon Corporation. Its properties can absorb shock which was demonstrated to catch an egg from a 20 meter high drop without breaking it. Casio put the alpha gel pad on the inner protector around the watch model. 2. It has big buttons with anti-slip pattern that are easy to press. It uses the lower left button to scroll to various mode with a sound beep for each button press. It beats with a higher pitch when reaching the home time. This button operating sound can be muted by holding the lower left button. The mute indicator bar appears in the mute mode. 3. The numbers are easy to read. The display shows the day, the month, and the date on the top row, and hour, minutes, and seconds in the second row. The three circles, aka three eyes, indicate the second count. The big right eye shows the 10 second increments, and the two left eyes show the one second increment. The left eye shows the first five seconds, and the middle eye shows the six to 10 seconds. To set the time, hold the top left adjust button for 2 seconds until it beeps and the number blinks. Use the lower right button to change the number. Use the lower left button to move to the next field. When done, press the upper left button again to exit the settings. 4. It has a dedicated light button in the front. Pressing the G button activates the LEDs. It also has auto light that activates the light by tilting the watch toward you. This auto light is enabled by holding the top right button for 3 seconds in the home time. The LT word is shown above the second number when the auto light is enabled. The light duration can be set between 1.5 seconds and 3 seconds in the time setting. Simply hold the top left button in home time mode. To go to the time setting, then press the top right button to select the duration. The 3 second duration is shown with the bigger star icon on the display. 5. It had the flash alert. The flash alert is the LED flashes with buzzer that sound for alarm, hourly time signal, countdown timer, progress beeper, and stopwatch auto start. The flash alert can be set in the home time setting by holding the top left to enter the setting, scrolling with the lower left button to the LT edge, and press the lower right button to set it to sync. Sync, it has 24 hour stopwatch capacity. To start the stopwatch, press the lower right button. Press the top right to split the measurement. Note that the segments in the three eye displays also running for the one second and the one fifth second increment. To stop, press the lower right button and press the upper right button to reset the stopwatch. GDX6900 also has the optional 5 second auto start. Before starting the stopwatch, press the top right button to show the minus 5 number on the display. The auto start will do a countdown of 5 seconds with 3 beats before the stopwatch start. 7. It has 24 hour countdown timer with auto repeat and the progress beeper. To start and to stop the countdown, Press the lower right button. Press the top right button to reset. To set the timer, press and hold the top left button. Use the right button to set the numbers and the lower left button to go to the next field. Press the top left button again to exit the setting. GDX6900 also had a progress beeper which can be turned on in the setting in which the watch emits 10 short beeps for each second to warn the last 5 minutes. 
then it emits 4 short beats every minute within the last 5 minutes and the last 30 seconds. Then it emits a short beep for each of the last 10 seconds. 8. It has the world time with 48 cities or 29 time zones. In the world time mode, use the right button to select the city. Press and hold the top left button to set the daylight saving time. The letter DST is shown in the daylight saving mode. 9. It has 3 alarms including snooze. Each alarm can be set to 4 types. To set the alarm, press the lower left button to go to the alarm mode. Then press the lower right button to choose which alarm to set. Press the top left button to turn the alarm on and off. Notice the tick above the ALM word when the alarm is turned on. To change the alarm time, press and hold the top left button until it beeps and the number blinks. Use the right button to change the number and the lower left button to go to the next field. Press the top left button again to exit setting. Here are how we set the four different types of the alarm. 1. The daily alarm. By only setting the hour and minutes, this alarm will sound every day at this time. 2. The date alarm. By setting the month, day, hour and minutes, this alarm will sound at the specific date and time. 3. The one month alarm. By setting the month, hour and minutes, the alarm will sound every day in the specific month and time. 4. The monthly alarm. By setting the day, hour and minutes, this alarm will sound every month at the specific date and time. 10. It has 10 year battery life and 200 meter water resistant. It used CR2032 lithium battery. And here are the 5 things on GDX6900 that I don't like or I wish it had. 1. The size is too big and float on the wrist. I find that the large cat and stick band creates a big gap on my wrist. I have 7 inches wrist side by the way. This may not be a problem for a large hand person. 2. It only has 3 alarms. Most of the modern G-Shocks have 5 alarms. 3. It does not have the dual thumb. Some modern g shocks can display two time zones on the display. 4. It cannot show the current time in the stopwatch and countdown timer. If GDX6900 is the true upgrade from the DW6900, it should show the current time in the stopwatch and the countdown timer. 5. The buttons are plastic. Other 6900 models have metal buttons. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more exciting G-Shock videos. May the shock be with you.